Let's go over some of the functional body weight exercises that you're going to be running into during the workout. All right, first off, we're going to do body squats. Body squats, I want my feet a little wider than shoulder width, and I want to drive my weight through my heels as I go down, basically mimicking sitting in a chair. And what I like to do while I'm doing this workout is actually look to the ceiling to help me keep my posture up. So as I sit down, I keep my eye on the same spot on the ceiling, I'm sitting down into it, drive my weight through my heels, and then coming back up. So again, drive my weight, keep my head in the ceiling, come back up. Take a look at it sideways here, show you really want to try to get to parallel. All right, so again, drive my weight through my heels, making sure that my knees don't come over my toes there. I can almost wiggle my toes when I'm down here, trying to get parallel to the ground, and then come back up. Modification for this is someone who's starting out. It's just to keep that same posture, keep that same distance, and just come down. Just get used to it so you can slowly start getting deeper into that squat so you're engaging more of those muscles and getting a deeper workout. Next up, we're going to do jumping jacks. Jumping jacks that we all did through elementary school, just regular jumping jacks. Just want to get the whole body moving. Just want to get those arms extended, kick those legs out. No different than any other jumping, neck, jumping jack that you've done growing up. Now we're getting to high knees. High knees are an intense movement, and for a, a lesser modification, would just be to march in place. Get those hands moving, get those knees up. When we're deal, dealing with high knees, it's fast beat, it's high intensity. All these movements are about 30 seconds long, so you want to keep it going, keep it pumping. High knees, you want to get those arms going. You want to get those knees up as high as you can, looking straight ahead, engaging those arms, and as you see, I mean, just within a couple seconds, they'll wear you out. So you really get that stamina up, and it's a tough workout. If you have to come down, and just kind of march in place, and that's what you have to do. We always want you to push yourself. Always push yourself a little further. <coughs> then we're going to go on a front lunge. Front lunge, stand, hands on my side here. I'm going to drop down my left foot, and then drop my knee to the ground. Get my knees not overextending my toe, and I'm just dropping my knee to the ground, just so it touches a little bit, and then come back to the starting position. Do it my right leg, same thing. Step out, drop down, feel it in my quad. All my leg, lower leg muscles are engaged here, and then back to the starting position. From the side here, you get a better view. Step out with the left leg, drop my right knee to the ground, and then extend back to the starting position. My right leg, same thing, keep my posture up, keep my core tight, looking straight ahead, back up to the starting position. Then we're gonna do a regular push up. A regular push up, you want to get down, you have your hands about the shoulder width, keep that nice tight core here, keep your head in line with your back. You want to come down to the ground and extend back up. So, right now we're engaging our core, we're engaging all those upper body muscles here, our chest, our shoulders, and our tricep. Come down again and extend back up. What I like to do to help keep my head in line with my back is to find a spot on the ground and watch it the whole time, all the way through the through down motion and then through the up motion. That will keep you in line with where you want to be. From the sideways, again, same thing. Hands about shoulder width apart, squeeze that core, come down, and extend back up. Come down, extend back up. Modification for this is to go to your knees. There's no shame in the game. There's going to be days where you can't do all the push-ups because you just came up with a certain combination. What you want to do is always keep moving. That's what this workout's all about. Always keep moving, always keep pushing yourself. So there's nothing to sleep on either. Knee push-ups get difficult. You're going to be having boxing gloves on there, so you're going to be doing it on your knuckles, but you have plenty of support from your wrist and your hands with the boxing glove there. And we're going to front core plank. Front core plank is I come down on my forearms and my toes. And I always want to stay as stiff as a board. I want to engage my glutes and I want to engage my core, squeezing my core, working my, working my abs, staying nice and lined, flat as a board. Over here, take a look at from the side view. Again, on my forearms, on my toes. Squeezing, you don't want your butt in the air, you don't want it sagging, you want to keep it nice and flat, parallel to the ground, squeezing your core. That's it. That's going to work your abs, that's going to shred that core right there. And we're going to go into mountain climbers. Mountain climbers, I'm going to get in the same position as I would a push-up. Arms, hands about shoulder width. I want to get down there, keep my core tight, and I'm basically bringing my knees up as this. 
You want to pick up the pace? Pick up the pace. We don't want to be dropping our foot when we're down and back and forth like this. This isn't what we want the mountain climbers to look like. So we want them nice in our plank position here. Hit those knees up. Don't have your toes hit the ground. It's very difficult, but it's a killer workout. From the side angle, you'll see, keeping that push-up position, bringing those knees up. Just like that. Firing up that core, burning your shoulders, burning your arms from holding yourself there. It's amazing. And we're going through burpees. Everybody's favorite. You can see I'm working on the sweat just demonstrating this stuff. Burpees, I'm gonna get a regular stance here. I'm gonna drop down, kick my legs out for your advance, add the push up, come back up, give me a jump. All right, again, take a look. Come down, kick my legs out, push up, jump. From the side, looking straight ahead, starting position, come down, kick the legs out, push up, and a jump. If you want to jump, keep your hands to your side. You're more than welcome to do that as well. Now we have add twisties. Add twisties. We're going to shred the core again here. What you want to do is rotate your upper body, squeezing your abs, and bringing your hands to the opposite side. One modification is to keep your feet on the ground. More difficult, bring them up in the air, twisting that upper body back and forth hitting your knuckles to the ground if you like. You also, if you just want to stay up nice and tight here, just make sure you're engaging those abs as you're falling back, all right? Now we also have the reverse lunge. Similar to the front lunge, just gonna step back. Step back, drop that knee to the ground. Again, my knee's not over my toes there, and then come back to the starting position. Step back, drop that knee to the ground, back to the starting position. From sideways, step back, keep my core nice and tight, back to the starting position. One of the things I like to do sometimes to make sure that I'm engaging my core is actually to put my hand in to know that my, my core is being engaged here. Just keep it flexed the whole time. Again, one more time here. Step back, and then back up. So there you have it. We also do wide push-ups. So you want to get down and before we do a regular push up just like this, now we want to put them a little wide, as wide as we can get them with boxing gloves. We want to do that. So you're going to do the same thing, keep your core nice and tight, keep your head lying on your back, come down, extend up, come down, extend up. Again, another modification of this push up is to do it on your knees. Get as wide as you can possibly get. We're going to shed all those different muscles, those upper body muscles. Come down, up, down, up. Again, you're going to need to get on your knees. That's what you got to do. We try to push yourself and bring all the energy every day, day in, day out. So we're going to regular jump and jump, jump rope. Jump rope, you don't need the jump rope. We're just mimicking that we have a jump rope. That's what we want to use is to mimic those movements, kind of exaggerate those movements with our hands. Keep our shoulders engaged, keep those, those lats engaged, and then work in our calves, work in our quads. So those are the body weight exercises that you're going to run into this workout, and they're going to keep you, and they're going to make you change. So take a look and be ready, because change is upon you.